Hello, David Zritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. From time to time, we like to explore different geographies and different locations, and more importantly, the people in those locations and what they're doing to keep the Bond end up, the James Bond end up through clubs, events, and get-togethers, and the very people. And of course, we've talked about Luc, the president of the James Bond French Club, or Club James Bond France, more appropriately. Now, what I love about this is, check out the envelope that this came in. I received a behemoth. I use the word behemoth, not lightly. It was gigantic. It was like a John Hammond, we have a T-Rex moment when this thing showed up. The guy, the post person, that seems correct. The post person lunged it up the driveway and then unloaded it on us and it was as heavy as a refrigerator. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but this thing was thick, thick, replete with books. That's it, I'm done with my thesaurus. But I wanted to review some of them today on a video because you don't always get to see what clubs offer. There's a lot of different clubs out there. There's a Swiss club, there's a Japanese club, there's of course the British fan club, the British James Bond fan club. And this one in particular, Le Magazine de James Bond France, because they put out some beautiful things that I wanted to show off a little bit because they're friends. They're allies. They, not, they might not be my neighbors, but when I see them, I hug them. I give them kisses on both sides of the cheek because that's what they tell me they do over there. I don't know if it's a ruse, but anyway, you got to see this stuff. So first of all, they come out with this absolutely beautiful magazine. And folks, it is this shiny. I mean, it's picking up every droplet of light here, but that's Miriam Debu. Debo. Uh, obviously, there's interviews in here, but take a look at some of the things that the club has to offer. There's Luke right there in all his glory. Now, what's nice about this is you have articles about Bond alumni. You have articles about people. You have really high thinking articles about the Bond franchise. This, these are magazines that you cannot find in Barnes & Noble and you're not going to find them online. These are things that show up and there's something very nostalgic. Look at that, look at that right there. That's Mike from the Ian Fleming publication. I got to meet this guy at one of the Bonds in Motion, but there's something nostalgic about magazines because you don't see them that often. And when you receive one, it's almost like a souvenir. The physicality of it is something that's lost because of this, dink, dink, dink. Yeah, everything's video nowadays. Look at me talking, but look at this. You can actually read about different people. What are they doing? What is the Bond alumni that we know and love? Like, oh, Madeline Smith, I love her. What are they doing nowadays? What are they a part of? Do they show up to events? Spoiler alert, they do. But what are those events like? And, and what was it like? What is the storytelling of being on set? We are storytellers here on the Bond experience, that's what it's all about. So why wouldn't you wanna hear the stories of this wonderful, wonderful alumni? And you can just go through here, you can read about the music, et cetera. And there's fun stuff in there. There's things about cars and products, pinball machines, et cetera. Look at this, look at this. All about Quantum of Solace as well. Oh, oh, my heart beats rapidly for you, but it's great. And even the ads, I gotta mention, even the ads themselves have a very Bond theme to them. Now, you're like, David, boy, did you exaggerate. You mean the post, <laughs> I was gonna say the post general, the post person, they, they brought this magazine up? That, no, there was more in there. For example, they had a whole archive book in here. Look at this, 007 James Bond archives from Never Say Never Again. Now this is, is it a grower? I think it's a grower, if you know, you know. It's a grower because this has grown in people's appreciation as uh, obviously a Thunderball redo, but this is something very important here. I'm looking at English. Now, why am I looking at words in English? David, you just said this is the uh, French. These are the French, right? And I'm here to tell you, they now have an English supplement that goes along with their beautiful Look, look, look at the imagery here. Folks, I gotta stop the show. Look at that. 
the, F the French are doing it right. Look at the imagery, look at the articles. But I used to have a lot of fun with the French. I would get these magazines in and I would do a little Instagram video thanking them because it was very kind. They didn't need to send this to me. Um, but I would talk about the, the pictures and I would just basically say to them, oh, such pretty pictures. I'll go through it and I'll look at the pretty pictures. And they're always about evolution. So what the club did in conjunction with the president, Luke, is they said, let us bring the rest of the world into it. Now, listen, please don't send the hate mail to me. Send it to somebody else. But the reality is, is that English tends to be spoken by a lot of people, a lot of you international folks. I'm always amazed, agog, surprised. Yeah, there's my thesaurus again. By how well you speak English. So he said, let's pull the rest of the world in, not just the French speaking world, but the rest of the world in and have a supplement that is in English. And so guess what? Little old David Zaritsky here in the United States can sit here and read along and actually understand the articles that accompany all this beautiful imagery. And there's a lot. This magazine will take me several drinks and maybe two weekends to get through. This isn't, this isn't a small little thing. This is pretty thick, but now I get to follow along. You get to follow along. So is it a call to action moment? Six minutes in, maybe it is. Ooh, there it goes. My call to action is for those of you that were sitting on your laurels and maybe not joining the James Bond Club de France, uh, now's your time to do it because people like me can actually read, digest, and here it is, here it is. Here's the word, not mine, I'm stealing it, infotainment. The information in here is informational, but it's entertaining, infotainment. So the infotainment now is so beyond the picture and it's so beyond the events. In fact, the Coupe de Grasse, is that French? I don't know, I think it is. The Coupe de Grasse is something that I received that had this mysterious white paper on it, pretty thick. And I'm like, what's in the white paper and why? Why this protective coating? No innuendos needed. It's a family show, but there was a protective coating. And as I take off the protect, don't hide your eyes. It's fine. I've got this beautiful, you can't appreciate it unless you're holding this. This thing is huge. Look at this. My head is 28 inches tall. It is. It's, I always say, I joke, it's, it's a Mardi Gras float, but it is. This thing is bigger than my head. This needed a small forklift to get up the driveway is what I'm saying. But it's this Mylar. This is a beautiful Mylar reflective coating on the back and front. This can't be inexpensive. I know, I know publishing. I know something about publishing, something about marketing. This is not inexpensive, but look at the close-ups that you get. And I don't wanna show you everything because it's gonna spoil, but this is absolutely gorgeous and it's all about bond cars now how incredible is it what do we got we've got and you've seen the video already i hope you've seen it. if you haven't go check it out we had a sneak peek of the bond in motion in prague that just opened up had its big debut parties we were walked around by people by phil Dewist, uh, president of another club that we're you know not focusing on this one but he is and we got a taste of Bond cars, Bond vehicles. Well, this is a whole magazine about the Bond cars. And I mean, the detail, the imagery, the pictures. I was gonna say the sound and the smell just stops short of the sound and smell. Look, look at this. When did you ever see a centerfold? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. That's sexy. That's a sexy centerfold, no staples allowed. So this is absolutely beautiful. Again, I'm not gonna show you everything because I want you to get this thing, call to action. But making good on the promise that I just made, or rather they just made, it comes with a supplement so I can read in English all of the details of that magazine. Holy cow, did I get a lot of reading. So I wanna thank Luke and all the members of the club uh, you are doing it right. C'est magnifique, magnifique. Uh, très bon. Uh, mon appel est David, le stylo est bleu. I don't know, that's, that's I, I, I think I failed high school French, but 
But the language of France is love. And the love of James Bond, the passion of James Bond is so clearly seen. Luke, who is not only the president of the club, is now in association with Bond in Motion and doing some wonderful things. He's not only a, a fan extraordinaire, he's really keeping the world of James Bond up in every corner. Where will they go to next? Only time will tell. But in the meantime, we'll leave some links below where you can get engaged with this wonderful club. And you don't have to live in France to enjoy it. You don't. I don't. And I enjoy them all the time. And I'm going to enjoy all of this infotainment very shortly. So I'll leave you to it. In the meantime, this has been David Zaritsky. Oh, 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 uh, bonjour, bonsoir, mon ami, comment allez-vous? Uh, uh, au revoir. We'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.